And that picture right there just shows you the sort of weather we've enjoyed here, really enjoyed here in Agadir. We've been entertained, well, quite aptly, royally, as we have another look at the Crown Prince Moulay Rashid, son of now deceased King Hassan, great king of Morocco, who's done so much for this country in so many ways, including encouraging great golfers to come here and compete in the trophy Hassan. And there is the latest winner on the roll of honour. After a few words of encouragement from his great idol and friend Bernhard Langer on the telephone last night. Beautiful scene there around the 18th green. And uh, it's time for us to catch up with the winner, who is having a few words by the 18th green with our colleague from Sky Sports, Tim Barter. Let's hear from Marcel Zim. Miguel, Miguel. Marcel, a very wet Marcel. What's happened between the 18th green and here? Uh, I had a little water shower of my uh, German colleagues. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of German support out here. It was nice. Describe your emotions, your third tour win. I'm super happy, really super happy. I'm pretty proud that I stayed that calm. And uh, on 18, I just tried to, to rip one over the, over the, f the forest because uh, yesterday, uh, the day before, I, I always faded them too much. And uh, well, it's all right. Bogey was okay on, on 18, and um, I'm, I'm really happy. And in between was a lot of pressure. I mean, Miko, Miko had a great start again, and uh, I thought it's going to be a little easier. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I came back and uh, scrambled nicely. You were suddenly five shots in the lead with seven holes to go. What was the mindset then? I actually was just hoping that finally a, a putt would drop because nothing went in all the time. And I just said to Guy, I mean, uh, there has to drop one putt finally. And um, you know, I was playing really nicely. I was actually not afraid to to, to make bogeys. And um, it's just still weird, though. I've never been in that uh, situation. I spoke to Bernard last night, uh, if he could give me some advice how to cope with that, four shots in, in the lead, and um, he gave me some, some nice tips, and thanks, Bernard. <laughs> Let us know what those tips are. I know one of them was to not look at leaderboards on the front nine, is that right? What else? Yeah, I just, just um, I don't know if I'm allowed to, 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 to tell the secrets of Bernard. Okay, I'll tell you one, he just said, uh, don't play more aggressive or more defensive than usual, unless you're all of a sudden behind or something, then, 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 then change the strategy. Otherwise, just play, play what you did all, all week, and. Um, Apparently you're playing well, Marcel. So just just keep doing what you're doing, and um, yeah, that's what I did today. This victory takes you inside the world's top 50. If you stay there tonight, after the results come from the Shell Houston Open, which it looks very good, okay. how excited about that prospect? That would be unbelievable. I mean, uh, that was always my dream since since I was a kid, and um, and um, I mean, if that comes true, it's unbelievable. Really, um, and I got an invitation for next week. Last night, that was it was a super cool surprise, and uh, I'm definitely going to, to the States tomorrow already. And um, yeah, f hopefully I stay in the top 50, and it will, will be will be wonderful to play in the Masters. Is it something you've dreamt of your whole life? Yeah, all the time. I mean, I'm, I've played all the majors, other major, majors so far, and uh, Masters. I just want to be on that ground once. I mean, I've, I only saw it on television, and um, I think I'm not going to cry, but it's going to be going to be very emotional to to make my first step onto the ground there. Is Augusta ready for your fist pump? Tigers does it, you can do it too. Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I'm ready, I'm ready, and um, I won't change. I mean, hopefully hopefully, uh, my, my um, bad emotions uh, were, were okay this week, and I think the people are pretty happy to see some positive emotions of players, and I love the game so much, I have to show it. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Congratulations on a fantastic win. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. No. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> That's where it happened. <laughs> Was that at least champagne? No. <laughs> well, that very disciplined win by uh, Marcel Ziem after today's Trophy Hassan final round. This shows Sterney at the top still. Too many changes at the very top, and Marcel Zim there. 15th on the updated race to Dubai. More importantly for him, he probably...
probably will get into the top 50 in the world. He was 47th on the race to Dubai at the start of the week, so 32 places. He's leapt up that board and just under 400,000 euro. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to proceed, if you please, to the prize giving ceremony of the 19th Lala Marion Cup and the 14th Hassan II Golf Trophy. The winner of the 19th Lala Marion Cup with a score of 270, 14 under par. She's only 17 years old, coming from Thailand, Aria Jutanugan. Terrific performance for such a young girl from Bangkok. She's in the top 30 from the qualifying school to get onto the Ladies European Tour. And now she's a winner. The winner of the 14th Hassan II Golf Trophy with a score of 271, 17 under par from Germany. Marcel Seem. Keeper, Marcel Seam, ladies the, uh, and gentlemen.